Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 GMC Sierra. This one is the 3500 and this one is the 84 with the 84 premium package. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there's going to be a 6.6 .6 V8 that is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. You could get a diesel with a 10-speed automatic transmission as an option. But anyways, this engine has 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. And for the fuel economy numbers, they don't list them since this is more like a work truck and uh, this is used for work and labor. So usually there is no EPA number on those trucks. So here is MSRB sticker of this 2021 3584. And it does have the premium package. It's at $8,000 package and it does have a few more packages. Just go ahead and pause the video if you're interested. And the price on this one is $70,000. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Summit White and it looks pretty good on this 84. And by the way, this one is the 6.6 .6 V8. It's not a diesel, it's just a uh, gasoline 6.6. Uh, anyways, uh, this one has the 84 premium package. Basically, it's an $8,000 package that gives you a ton of things. Coming to the front, this thing just looks so aggressive. And I really like the gloss black with the gray uh, grill. Coming to the headlights, the headlights are LED. Everything in the front here is LED. The daytime running light, high and low beam, and I think the turn signal indicators are LED. They do flash in a very quick way. Uh, they basically turn on and off very quick so i think they are led coming to the bottom there are going to be some led fog lights as well some sensors in the front and uh, they're going to be of course the red tow hooks this is only on the 84 uh, trim so the other trims are not going to get that red uh, tow hooks only for the 84 uh, trims here is a grill it looks massive and it does have good amount of gloss black on it and uh, GMC is going to be written of course uh, inside that grill and uh, it's nice and big they're going to be a front-facing camera and uh, they're going to be a vent right here but this one is actually not functional so this is just a fake vent and overall guys the front of this 84 looks really scary but let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll go ahead and show you the side view of this 84. So here is a side view of this 3584 and honestly this thing looks massive in person. I actually had to step a little bit back to be able to fit this truck in the frame but anyways the side view of this truck looks very good. There are going to be two reflectors one in the front one in the back and I love the fact that it says inside those uh, reflectors it says GMC so GMC is ran inside those reflectors. For the rims, they have a really nice design to them and the size of those rims. They are 275, 65, 20s. There is a very good amount of rubber and of course this is needed since this is the 84. This is the off-road version of the uh, Sierra. But anyways, they're going to be an 84 with the HD uh, badge right there. And uh, they're going to be another badge right there that says 6.6 uh, .6 V8 and for the mirrors the mirrors do get extended and uh, they do have a turn signal indicator and they do have two LED lights there is a light that is pointing toward uh, the back and there is one right next to the turn signal indicators and around the windows the window sills are going to be finished in black and uh, they're going to be a side bed step and a normal uh, side step uh, for you to be able to get in and out uh, very easy and I love the fact that it's not uh, low it's a little bit on the higher side so taking this truck off-roading will be uh, very good so basically this will protect uh, the bottom of the truck if you hit some rocks or anything like that here is the back of this truck and this one has the multi pro tailgate it's a 200 dollars option i really wish it was standard on the 84 3500 for the tail lights the tail lights have an okay look to them but i really like the smoky uh, look that they have that blacked out look Everything is LED right here. I'm not exactly sure about the reverse lights. I think they are halogen, but they might be LEDs. So I'm not exactly sure. They're going to be an 84 badge right here on the right. Sierra is going to be written in the middle. GMC on top of it. And they're going to be a light that turns on when you actually turn on the bed or the cargo light. And they're going to be two buttons right here. One to open the top portion of the uh, tailgate and the, and the other one is to open the whole uh, tailgate and here is the backup camera 
and there are going to be more cameras right there with uh, some LED lights and sensors in the bottom the tow hitch pin connectors and here is the tire spare tire release the exhaust look very good and they're going to be uh, bed steps to be able to get inside uh, the bed easier let's go ahead and open the uh, tailgate the top one opens the top one and the bottom one opens the bottom one so just go ahead and pull this out like this this is the top uh, portion you could place anything you want right here and to open the whole tailgate it's going to be this spine right here it does have a soft release to it there are going to be some tie downs AT4 is going to be written right there and this one actually has the gooseneck uh, package I think it's a $600 package and it does have some connectors right here some pin connectors and it does have this uh, to be able to get inside uh, the bed uh, easier that way and uh, there's tie downs right here LED light and they're going to be an AC outlet and let's go ahead and open this you could actually open this part let's say if you want to place something right inside and you'd want it to fall you could uh, simply raise this and this will protect it from actually sliding there are going to be some lights and you could actually drop the if you hit the uh, button the top button we'll drop it like this and you could actually get inside the bed uh, easier this way just like that and let me go ahead and show you this locks in place like that and you could get inside the bed uh, that way so you could just pull on this or like put your hand right here and uh, get inside the bed uh, easier that way here is a key looks very good and it has a really nice weight to it. it does have a little bit of chrome on it GMC in the back it does have five buttons on it lock unlock remote start tailgate release and a panic button to remote start the truck lock it once and then hold down the remote start button and uh, to open the tailgate there are going to be three ways one on the tailgate one inside and they're going to be a button right here just go ahead and double click on it and that will drive the tailgate down here is the door handle the door handle does not have a sensor right behind it so to lock and unlock the truck you actually have to click on this button here is a front door panel and uh, the top portion right here is going to be nice and soft love that orange stitching door handle feels nice and solid but a little bit on the lighter side door locks memory seats and here are the window switches they're going to be a folding uh, mirror button and this one is to extend the mirrors so you could extend the mirrors on this AT4 and it does have actually blind spot monitoring system let's go ahead and fold the uh, mirror so you could fold it and you could extend it and the front two windows are going to be auto up and down the armrest feels nice and soft more of that orange stitching this is plastic which is expected plastic in the bottom storage place here in the bottom and they're going to be a Bose sound system in this AT4 and I really like this fake looking carbon fiber uh, trim I think it looks very good actually and here is the driver's seat it does say AT4 up top and the AT4 trim is well known for the orange stitching and they're going to be uh, the power seats but let's go ahead and move inside this AT4 and I'll go ahead and show you the interior of this 3500 all right, so here is the interior of this 3500 AT4. Nice and spacious, and honestly, it doesn't feel like that this truck is massive. From the outside, it looks really big, but sitting right here on the in the driver's seat, it doesn't even look that big. What makes this truck feel big is the height of it, but it's not that wide. But it is nice and spacious. Here is the steering wheel. It's a little bit on the skinnier side, which is fine. It does have some orange stitching right here and a few controls to control the safety features, the cruise control, adaptive cruise control, braking assist. It does have heated steering wheel 
and all the way to the right they're going to be the phone controls and those controls will control the screen in the middle so you could use the wheel to go up and down and uh, use the left and right arrows to go from a menu to another gauges look very good and uh, they're nothing too crazy super simple and very easy to understand here is the column shifter that will control the six speed automatic transmission in this 35 it does have plus and minus and all the way to the left they're going to be the wiper controls with the high and low beams and uh, the turn signal controls all the way to the left there is a good amount of lines uh, actually right here is going to be the heads-up display this 84 has heads-up display and there is just a ton of buttons right here. You will have the mode selector, normal and off-road, and they're going to be the off-road controls right here. Four high, four low, two high, and auto function. And here is the fog light controls. This button right here will turn on the lights in the bed, and it will actually turn on a light right here on the mirror. And there is a light right uh, where the turn signal indicator is basically uh, right behind the mirrors that will turn on that light and then you will have the headlight controls and in the bottom there are going to be a few uh, auxiliaries right here you could attach like light bars and stuff like that electronic e-brake and here is a screen it's an 8 inch screen it does look very small uh, in this 35 I really wish it was a little bit bigger but GM will be changing the screen size on the 2022's and up here, they're going to be a good amount of storage place. I really wish there was like a 12 volt up there, but that's fine. As I said, screen is a little bit on the smaller side, but it's nice and responsive. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it does have uh, the climate controls. You could control the climate controls from here, or you could control them from underneath if you want to. So that's nice, and they're going to be a hard bu uh, home button, and you could actually click this button right here to go back home or to the main menu and uh, you could actually control the screen with this tune knob so let's say if you want to go to navigation just go ahead and highlight it and then click on this button and that will take you to the navigation and here is the backup camera the backup camera is very nice in this GMC it does have front facing camera back camera 360 it does have that nice 3d view it does have the rim uh, angles and it does display the 360 right here on the side so that's nice you could see the front rims and uh, a few more angles and uh, there is something that is really cool uh, it does have a front down view a back down view and it does have a bed view that this is really cool and you could actually zoom in and zoom out and you could uh, see the hitch if you're backing up you want to be able to see the hitch you could do that so it does have a ton of cameras around the truck here are the climate controls, very easy to use. Fan speed, on and off, modes, it does have an auto function, sync function, and uh, they're going to be heated seats, cold seats, and it does have heated back seats, so only the back portion of the seat turns on, uh, and it does have a full heated seat, so the bottom and the back turns on. So I love the fact they give you two options, engine start stop, it does have all the safety features as I said, link keep assist, parking sensors, tailgate release, you could drop the tailgate from here, so this is nice. Emergency light button, traction control, here is a button to turn on the AC outlets in the truck. It does have hill descent, USB, USB-C, 12 volt, and they're going to be the trailer ring brake system. And by the way, this 84 has the snow plow prep package. I forgot to mention that, but Right here, they're going to be the wireless phone charger, a little bit of storage place, two cup holders, and a nice place to put a phone or something small. More of that carbon fiber looking trim, a little bit of chrome or brushed aluminum, and they're going to be a good amount of storage place right here. Here is the armrest, it's nice and soft, it does have that wrench stitching, phone holder, and inside there is just a ton of space. They're going to be a light and an SD card, USB-C, USB, and an aux. Here is the rear view mirror. It looks very good. I love the fact that it's not bulky. It's nice and frameless, and it does have this really cool trick. Just go ahead and do that, and the camera up there where the third brake light is, it will turn on and it will display 
uh, what's right behind you. So let's say if you have a good amount of things in the back seats and you can't see out of the windows, this becomes very helpful and you could actually do a few things. You could raise up the brightness, you could uh, zoom in and zoom out. So this is really nice and it is 60 frames per second. Uh, so yeah, that's very nice and the resolution is very high quality. So I love that. And overall guys, everything just looks very good in this 84. Nice and spacious and very comfortable. They're going to be the garage control uh, controls right here. It does have a sunroof and it does have a back window. So and they're going to be a tilt function and you could actually open it. So there's two different buttons to or switches to open uh, the sunroof and they're going to be a few controls for the lights LED lights by the way it does have garage controls so I think I mentioned that and here is the visor it's a little bit on the skinnier side but it is finished in the same material as the headliner and they're going to be two lights and a mirror and I love the fact that the mirror is nice and big and here are the glove boxes there is two there is a top uh, tier and then there is the bottom one. Bottom one is nice and big. And overall, this truck looks very good. The seats are comfortable and it's super easy to see out of this truck. Here is the back door panel and it's the same as the front. The top portion right here is nice and soft. Orange stitching, orange stitching. The armrest feels nice and soft. More of that carbon fiber looking trim. Window switch, door handle feels nice and solid but light plastic plastic a good amount of storage place here in the back a speaker in the back and for the back seats they're nice and spacious a ton of headroom and leg room is massive and it does have the same look as uh, the front seats so it does have that orange stitching with the orange inserts a storage place right here and those seats do go up so all you have to do is just go ahead and lift them up just like that they do lock in place so this is very good and this one does have actually a storage place here so let's go ahead and open this and the jack and the jack tools are going to be there and of course you could do the same exact thing for uh, for the other seat and there is a storage place underneath that other seat and to drop them down just go ahead and pull them down there is no levers or anything like that and they're going to be the armrest right here it does have two cup holders a little bit of storage place right here and this is nice and soft and two cup holders in the back so i love the fact that there's two cup holders here there's two cup holders here and there is two in the front so there is a ton of cup holders in this uh, truck. Heated seats here in the back, one USB, one USB-C, 12 volt, and uh, the AC vents. And here is how the front looks like. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I would like to thank Luke here at Buick GMC in Wallingford, Connecticut. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information in the link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.